In the beginning of the film, we see a boy named Tim. He was in the hospital with his father because his father was very sick. Tim's father was in a very bad condition. He had very little time left in the world. He says that I want my son. My last wish is that you become a musician because Tim's father was also a musician. He liked music very much. At the same time, he also believed that a person can get everything from music. And Tim also had this ability. He also knew a little bit about music. Now when Tim's father dies, after a few months, Tim leaves for Austria because there was a music school there. Many people knew his father. That's why he easily gets admission in the school. Tim also meets a girl on the train whose name was Sophie. She was also going to the same school where Tim was going. Sophie also took admission there. She also wanted to become a musician. Now they both fall asleep listening to music on the train. When their eyes open, both had reached Austria. There he is introduced to the principal who was a very bad person. Here he praises Tim's father a lot that he was a very good musician. Tim also tells him that I also sing songs and he had already learned piano. Now Tim is introduced to his teacher who took him to his room. There he meets his roommate with whom Tim was going to live. But Tim's roommate did not like seeing him at all because the boy used to live alone but now he had to live with Tim. Anyway, later he gets well and also took Tim to school. He tells him about everything there. Then suddenly a boy came in front and started hitting Tim's roommate. And he also tells Tim that stay away from this person. He is not worthy of you. Tim was finding all this very strange. Tim's roommate tells him that I am very upset with this boy, but I can't do anything because his dad is a very big singer. I also feel very bad about that boy, but we can't do anything. Now the next day, the school principal gathers everyone in the hall and was introducing everyone to Tim. He says that he is a new student of our school. In front of everyone, the principal tells Tim to sing a song. Hearing this, Tim was a little scared because he did not have any preparation before. The principal says that what is the need of preparation in this? You have to sing by using your voice. So why are you scared? And I don't think that a good musician is a good singer. So don't think much and sing a song. Tim now started singing in front of everyone, which was a very good song, but the principal did not like it. He says that this is against our principles. You should not have sung this song. Now two stories are going to happen in front of you. One of this school and the other magical world. Tim was very fond of reading stories since childhood. One day he was reading a story whose name was the Magic Flute, which is also the name of this movie, in which like every story, there was a prince who had to save the princess. Even tonight, Tim was reading the same story. Then he sees light. As soon as he follows that light, he goes to a library where he keeps a book in an empty place. Then a way opened there. There were colorful balls of light which were revolving around him. She says to Tim that if you want to go to the magical world, then you will have to be a part of a story. And then whatever dangers will come, you have to face them. If not, then you can stay in this school. Tim had to make this decision. He chooses the magical world for himself. As soon as he tells these balls of light, he suddenly reaches a strange world. Maybe it was a magical world. There was a desert all around. When Tim goes a little further, a very big snake came in front of him who was going to attack Tim. But somehow he gets away from it and a big snake comes in front of him. Tim knew that this was a magical world and music was also mentioned in this story. So Tim starts singing a song to drive that snake away, but it has no effect on the snake. Tim starts running away from that den. Then his foot slipped. He falls down and faints there. There are now three magicians who had put that snake to sleep with their magic. Now, because Tim had also become a part of this story, the magicians were taking him with them. They go a little far and leave Tim. Then a man comes there who used to catch birds for the king there. When Tim comes to his senses and sees that man, he now feels that maybe he has saved his life. Now the man who was catching the birds was thinking that Tim is a prince. Tim asks that man, have you saved my life? To which he says, yes, I have saved your life. So can you give me a name in return for this? When the magicians hear that Tim is a prince, she comes back and says that prince, we have been waiting for you for years and now you will have to meet our queen. The man who used to catch the birds was talking here again and again and did not close his mouth. So the magicians cast a spell on that man's mouth and closed his mouth. When Tim came here, he found out that the queen was also a magician. She took her daughter with a bad man who was a soldier of the king of the city. She asks Tim for help and says, That look, you are a prince, so you will have to help me. You will have to go and bring my daughter back from that man. Now Tim also agrees and was ready to go. 
In this journey, his companion and the magic flute also says that these things will help you in every trouble. They now had to go to that man, that soldier, who had kidnapped the queen's daughter. As soon as Tim starts his journey, he hears a voice from behind. He suddenly came back to his real world from the magical world, meaning that there was a time to go to the world from where Tim had gone to the magical world in the same library. If Tim had to go again, he would have to wait for the next night. Anyway, after returning to his world, he did not tell anyone about it and started taking his musical classes. He also meets his friend Sophie in the real world. When it is night, he goes to the library again at night and keeps the book in its place. Then he again reached the same story, that is, the world of magic. The soldier who had kidnapped the queen's daughter there still treats him badly. Anyway, Tim had reached the world of magic. His companion now comes to the same place where the soldier had kidnapped the queen's daughter. Tim's companion comes here and tells the queen's daughter, Don't be afraid, your mother has sent me here so that I can save you from here. Now he quickly saves the queen's daughter who was following the queen's daughter till now. When he runs away from here, he finds Tim on the way. All of them were now going to save the queen's daughter and go from here. Then the soldier came and surrounded him with his companions from all sides. Here Tim's companion saves the same music box that was given to him by the magicians. There the soldier and all his companions were surrounded by Tim's companions. Then the king also comes. All the people bowed down in front of him. The king asks what is going on here. On which the queen's daughter tells the king that your soldier had kidnapped me and made me his slave and these two men have come to save me. Hearing all this, the king gets very angry. He gets angry at his soldier and tells the queen's daughter that now you have to give some tests to save yourself. On the king's order, the king's soldiers put cloth on Tim and his companion's face. But just at that time, Tim comes back to his world because the time was over. But still he does not come to his world and does not tell anyone. Here Tim's roommate was very angry with him because Tim used to leave the room without telling him anything every day at midnight. But Tim was still not ready to tell him anything. Tim came to Tim's room which was against the rules here because no girl could go to a boy's room. When she tries to come near Tim, Tim remembered that it was time to go into the world of the story. He leaves Sophie there without telling anything and goes away from there and came to the library and from that door again reaches the world of magic. When he goes and sees, there was no queen's daughter there. Tim now tells the king that I was late in coming. The king says, no, you did not delay. You just have to pass a test after which you can take the queen's daughter back with you. If you do not talk for a long time, you will be made to meet the queen's daughter. Now Tim and his companion are taken to a special place where there were soldiers all around them. They had to stay here completely silent. How long did they have to stay silent? And then he fell there and fainted. There we are shown. The daughter of the queen who was again in the custody of the soldier. Then her mother comes there who asks her daughter that didn't the prince come to you whom I had sent to save you and why didn't you do your job? Here we find out that the queen was a cunning woman. In fact, she sent her daughter here to kill the king so that he would be immortal all his life. She was only using her daughter. Now the queen says all this to her daughter and leaves to complete her work. But outside the room, the soldier had heard all the queen's words and goes and warns his king about all this that the king's life is in danger. Now when the king comes to the queen's daughter to find out all this, she tells the truth and later starts looking for Tim here and there. Tim had gone to meet her, but he could not talk to anyone because the king had told him to do so. Tim tries to talk to him a lot, but Tim does not say anything so she went away from there. After the time given, Tim was released because he had passed his test. Once again, Tim came back to his world. This time he finds out that Sophie has been expelled from school because he had broken the rules of the school. He goes to meet Sophie quickly, but she refuses to meet him because she was angry with him because Tim was not able to give him anything. Tim tries to explain to him that look, if we have to always be together, then I have to end that story. But Sophie did not know anything about this, so she does not believe anything he says. Now he goes to his roommate and tells him all his stories that how he is trapped in the world of magic and magic and even about the magic flute. But here his roommate also does not believe him. Anyway, Tim goes back to the world of the same story. This time he finds out that the queen was going to destroy everything. She wanted to end the king's government. That's why she had done her black magic in this world. Only Tim, that is, the princess of this story, could fix everything. He meets the queen's daughter and makes a way on the ground from which fire was set all around. Tim also plays his magical flute from which now both of them fall into the water. To complete this story, Tim had to save the queen's daughter at any cost, who was a princess. 
It was difficult to save the princess now, but somehow Tim had saved the princess. The queen's black magic was over. The king's city is at peace. And finally the princess here was made the queen's daughter. The story was completed because a prince had saved the princess from the dark world. Tim says goodbye to everyone in the world of magic and returns to his real world. Now he had to save his love. Sophie had left. Tim quickly runs to the station. He thought she had left, but he had found her there. They hug each other. Tim had won both the real world and the magical world. And with this, the story of this movie ends here.